Hey, how you doing? This is Neil. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I got better at Call of Duty. I'm gonna do things a little bit different in this video. I'm gonna go into very specific, something I don't see these other videos doing. This is a popular topic right now on YouTube. That's not why I'm doing it. I'm doing it because I'm getting frustrated playing with teammates that if they just had a little bit of coaching would do so much better, you know, like how to just like, just keep Mac control so we don't get spawned, you know, um, spawn trapped or something, or so that the map isn't going crazy and I'm just getting shot in the back and the side all the time because I can't expect where people are going to be at all. Um, and that's really easy to prevent if you just have a little bit of knowledge how to play the game. Uh, so most importantly, though, is I'm going to be going over stuff that I haven't seen in all these videos, stuff that really actually helps. I'm sure like some of, some of the advice they give is going to help, but it's rather general. I'm going to go over very specific stuff that I did to get better at the game. And one of the first ones I'm going to talk about is positioning, how to position yourself throughout different parts of the map. I'm going to show some very specific examples, step by step, like how, how, to, how to play that map, for example. And where you can be and how you can go you know and then and then how to kind of generalize this knowledge and apply it to any map um, also map map control in general how to kind of break down any map and start thinking about well how can i get map control uh, that's the most important thing with any game mode is map control uh, it doesn't matter what game mode you're playing map control is super important um any of you probably heard that in other in any of these other videos that you've been watching all right so let's go ahead and get started and uh, go through these things all the things that can help you get better. Obviously, you know, getting better at aiming and all that kind of stuff helps too. And with controllers, a lot of techniques you can do to get better at that, such as always having your crosshair centered. What made me the, the, what I think the single thing that made me better at this game more than anything else was to play the game tactically, to play it like I'm playing, you know, Rainbow Six Vegas, or I, I guess Siege, but I don't, I haven't played that one yet. Or um, like I'm playing, uh, you know, SWAT 4, if you remember that old game. To take it more tactically, don't play it like you're playing Doom or Quake or something like that. If you want to play Quake, play Quake Champions. If you want to just be able to run around and jump and it all comes down to who has the better aiming tactics, stuff like that, that would be the better game for you. This isn't that game. This is more tactical. If you like tactical shooters, this is much more like that. So mainly what you want to do is when you're taking gunfights, you want to think about what's, my, what's the best position I can be for them and me. So for example... If I'm coming this way and the, and, the, and the map hasn't just started, it's, it's already been playing for a while, there can be an enemy right there. And that's a place they like to sit. Another place they like to sit is right along this wall up here uh, or on that surface up there on the roof. And so I'm here. This is a bad spot, right? So if I like pop out right here and duck down, this is not good for me because only part of their body's showing and all of my body's showing. Now, ducking down is obviously going to make it a little bit harder for them to hit you. But if they're already aiming in this direction and you go like this to try to shoot them, you're already dead. Before you even get to aim your gun right here, even if you're perfect and you can just pound, you're right there. They've already started shooting you the second you're visible. And so by the time you get your shots off, they've already landed their four shots and you're dead. Now, if they happen to be looking over here and you go like this and pop out and start shooting them, you might win that fight, but you're still taking that chance. So the best thing to do is to think about, well, how can I tactically do this? How do I outsmart my, outsmart my opponents? And that way you always want to think about, well, how can I get in the best position to where I'm the one head glitching, or at the very least, we're both even kind of like we're both head glitching. So that makes it more of an even fight. And that's how you want to handle this game as like a tactical shooter. So if, if I'm here and I know the game has been played for one, I just spawned. I'm like, okay, I know there can be guys over here. You want to get all the intel you can look at your mini map for a second and just see where you're, where your teammates at. And if your teammates are kind of like, if you, for example, if you have a teammate that's just right here, looking this way, you're pretty sure there's not someone in that window, right? Because he hasn't died yet. Um, if he's like this, looking this way on the map, see my my uh, yellow triangle on the map? If he's like this, looking this way, you know there's someone probably not in this door right here, right? <laughs> because, you know, it could be, it could be, there could be someone on the other side of the door, but there's not, there's, there's not someone right here, for example. Um, so you want to kind of look at that for a second, just kind of see what your teammates are doing, where they're running. And then I like to come in here. So one place you can challenge him is from way back here. It's hard for him to see way back here and just and just shoot him like this. See if he's there. And if you're not sure if he's there or not, you can get over here to this side. You want to sprint, though. Like from back here, you want to just quick, quickly sprint. Get over here. See if there's anyone there, up there. You know, challenge and come here. And right here is a good place to challenge him, just like this. Just kind of peek it like this. You don't want to get too close, otherwise you can't see. Just, just enough to get like that. Boom. You're showing very little of your body right here, and he's showing, he's showing more, so you can actually hit him from here pretty well. Another thing is, if he starts ducking down, keep shooting. Like any wall, just follow the person through the wall. Just anticipate the speed at which they're moving and just and just kind of try to follow them. So if the, he's running this way, just keep shooting like this right through the wall. 
because a lot of walls are, pen are, are penetratable. You can get through them. Um, from here, after I've checked all this, this is a good spot to be, right? Right on top of this truck right here. Because I can see I have a good line of sight. Some of my body is hidden by this truck. It's hard to shoot bullets through this little piece right here. I can see him coming through that door right there. I can see him coming from over here, here. And then I can sometimes see him coming from right here. And then over here, I got this. I can see him coming from over here. You can also pop up here, duck down. You still have, it's still better. Look at look how much of my body is covered. Like half of my body is covered. So I'm still better. If someone's running straight down this street right here, and, we ha and I get in a gunfight with them, I'm more likely to win the gunfight because... One, they're probably not looking here as they're running. I see them first. So that's another thing. You want to try to get in places where you know people are going to be coming, and you can see them coming before, before they see you shooting at them. And as long as you land your first shots and you, and you hit, it's going to be harder for them to hit you because more of your body is, is hidden. Right? So keep that in mind. So just think of ways in which you can be in the better position. So another thing is um, from here, for example, if I know someone's coming that way, I can also come right here, and I can, like, you know, shoot them here. See, half of my body is hidden behind this behind this barrel for example if you're coming this way you know you, i run and slide right here like this so i can i can be here and and sometimes you know sliding isn't the best option just just run there the whole time and then duck down now you got people here here and you got people coming here this is a good place to be actually sometimes i just chill here get some kills another place i like to go right here is right here you know just get some kills here and see before i make my way this way you know and then and then it's here and then from here i can either go to that door or i can come around See if there's anyone come to this window right here. Maybe throw an explosive right here like a mine and then peek in here. You know, check my corners. Treat it like a tactical shooter. You know, come out here. See, is there anyone out here? And then make your way this way and now you can shoot pe people from the back. You know, and before you, that's before you get the flag. All right, so I'm going to show some more, more examples with actual enemies. And then we'll get into some actual gameplay, some multiplayer gameplay. All right, so I'm going to give a commentary. So first thing I do is I throw down my mind there to help with defense. And as I come around corners, I try to like turn before I do the corner. Now right here, I know I don't have to look left because it's the beginning of the match, so I know no one can be there. Um, also, because I'm using restock, I stemmed right there, which is fine. Now make sure to check your corners because they could have got here fast enough. I thought I heard someone. That's why I was checking. Always check here to your left, too, and then make sure they're not running up there right in that dark up the building check in here i come over here and i always check up here because there's usually someone there by now um, shooting in this case there wasn't i check those stairs come over here check all the way down there because there's usually someone there and also check in this building throw mine down just in case they run underneath me if anything it's like an alarm that i'll know often it kills people but i see that guy and i'm having a hard time hitting him see all this is in my way and i watch right here just stand up and shoot him i actually didn't realize that i could do that right there well it was a good line of sight until just then when I needed to use it. Boom, right there. It's good. I saw that guy, but I don't immediately shoot at him. I drop down instead. Because I already know I can go back up there again. It's not a big deal. Now I decide I'm going to go back up there again. Come around. I should have checked to my right right there as I was doing this, but I didn't. I didn't hear anybody, but I still sort of checked. I, I recheck over here again. You want to check up that way every now and again just because that's what, the way people often go. Especially if you're not seeing anyone. If you're staying right here and you're trying to camp for some kills right here and you're not seeing anybody over here. And actually, you're not really camping, you're, you're playing very aggressively. You're actually trying you're at their you're at their flag. I'm at their flag trying to suppress them. I'm trying to kill them all to help my team. Notice that I I don't I, I step out of that fight, right? I, I notice I didn't kill him right away. I got hurt, I duck I duck away. So get used to like ducking to the left or right. Or, or, you know, moving. I don't shoot that guy because there's no need. It's like a headshot. It would be hard. Um, now, now I re-engage the fight. So that was that same guy that almost killed me. Now I come back and kill him. Give myself enough time so they're like, oh, maybe he left. This guy gets me. I, I should have put a, tactic, a tactical answer up there. So I could have just spawned right back. I do that again, but I should have done it then. Uh, now we're in the in the part of the game where it's like you got to kind of pay attention. I'm looking right there just so he doesn't snipe me as I'm going over here. Look to my left because now they can actually be there. So just trying to you know check your corners, pay attention. Like I said, play more tactically. Listen. Always be listening. The footsteps are loud in this game, at least in multiplayer and Warzone. It, I don't know what happened. It's like hard to hear people. It's crazy. I don't know if they fixed that or not yet, but it doesn't seem like it 
to me yet. Again, I'm checking to my left over there. Again, um, you can use your, because I'm using restock, I can use my tactical insert to run to the, the flag, and I can also use them to run back, because I know they're going to replenish themselves, right, because I have restock on, and they replenish really fast. So I could, I could use one or two to get to where I want to go, and then I can use them again to come back. Notice I'm being patient. I back off. I duck down so they can't see me. I want to see if that guy, because I know, remember there's two guys. There he is. He comes back. So it's a lot of like peekaboo, you know, come out, shoot a couple people, leave, you know, for a second. Don't leave, leave. Just kind of go back into cover, reload your gun, you know, and also because like right there, there could have been somebody else that saw me that I didn't see, you know, ready to shoot me after I shot his buddy. So I kind of back off for a second, wait, reload, um, you know, stim if I need to and wait just to see what they're doing. That guy I managed to get because he was walking in front, so his whole body was visible. When they're when they're running behind that wall, it's hard because it's their head. Like right here, watch. I try to hit this guy. Really hard though, because just pretty much his head is visible. If they're if they're sprinting it, it's hard to hit him right there. I notice I throw that mine down, pick up my other mine, so I can throw it here. Also, another thing I like to do when I'm playing flag is I I play um for my third perk. I throw it out over there just for the hell of it, just in case they come that way. My third perk is the one that gives you, I think it's called shrapnel. It gives you two, two grenades or whatever you're using. In this case, two mines. I thought it hurt somebody, so I'm just kind of listening. And also have all those mines under there, so if they go off, you know, I should be able to hear it go off. That one went off, which is why I was listening, but I don't know where he went. Put in my tactical insert just in case I die. This way I can come back here. This is good. See, watch. Remember that mine I threw over here before? Just in case, look at that's the one that kills him. I probably have won that gunfight either way, but it's you know it's good that I had that there. I'm checking to see if I had nope I didn't. See, I have cold blooded right now. I usually have it either on EOD or kill chain. I wanted to see if I had it on kill chain, and I don't. I put it on a kill chain just in case I die. That way I can, you know, it'll it'll be on there for my next streak. Because right now I, I could have used that missile, and that would help me get my streak faster. So that's the end of that one. I just, I just, I'm right now I'm eight and one. Um, <laughs> you might be like, oh, it's kind of not a whole lot of kills for one round. Are you going kind of slow? Yeah, I did play a little bit slow, but I'm playing for my kill streaks. I'm going to continue to do that now because the kill streaks carry over to the next round if you didn't die. As you can see there, I got, I still have my kill streak there. And I usually do that with this map anyway. I use, I usually, well, it's not like it's. I play kind of slow but aggressive because I'm going in onto their side of the map. But I'm, I try not to, you know, go over. I, I saw he was shooting at somebody or shooting at the door, so maybe there was somebody on the other side. So that's why I threw my mine there to help him just in case he got killed. And there's a guy in our spawn that I shoot. That, I shot this where I can get some intel so I can see where people are at. And I figure I might as well kill that guy because he's by our spawn. And this is this was another really um, a power place to be, right? This window right here, and this whole top floor actually. It really um, you just have to really be careful and listen, because people could come up this door, this window right here. They can actually hop up this window. To the right, there's stairs that can come up, and then on the back, there's another way. So like, there's at least three ways to get up here. You just gotta listen, and make sure people aren't coming up. Um, basically, I'm always looking, just glance every now and again at your. Um, your compass, and also at the little map on the left there, which I have as square, so you have more. If you don't have it as a square, go to your settings in the options. I think, it's on, I think it's under graphics or one of those things. Maybe it's under general, I can't remember, but change it from circle to square. Square gives you more intel to see. You get like 20% more visibility there. So I, now I got my tank. I'm like, cool, I just need one more kill now to get my VTOL. But as I'm up here, I'm listening, you know, and I'm looking at my thing. If I, if I hear someone running, and I look at my um, map, and I don't see any blue triangles around me. Then I know for sure I heard an enemy, and that's what then then I then I go on the defensive and start, you know, listening to where, what area they're coming from. I set off the VTOL, and now I'm going to use my tank right here. This is actually a pretty decent spot, believe it or not, if you start right here with your tank, um, at least on flag. It, I, I'm probably going to be alive when I when I'm done with the tank. Unfortunately, someone throws phosphorus. I couldn't have I couldn't have predicted that. They didn't tell me they had it, and so I had no idea. My wife is actually playing this game with me on my team, and uh, we actually talked a little bit back and forth in this game. 
so uh, I'm just kind of looking around trying to find people I know they spawn on over here you know like by that building I'm pointing at I know they spawn over there uh, they spawn on the other side too all behind there but uh, they're not spawning in or something because I'm not seeing them so I'm like bummer kind of a waste of my tank I wish I would have known that phosphorus was coming I would have saved my tank kind of pointless to use it at that time I do get that guy, at least I get an assist. I think I get one guy up here, I can't remember. Oh yeah, I get that guy, so I at least got one kill with it. I, I, I might have gotten two, I can't remember now. I know we just watched it, but I can't remember. See, I was still alive. I come right back to this window, might as well, right? Here's another place it comes, so I throw my line down there. And I'm just, I'm just paying attention to... I, I know he's got that side cover, so I'm like, I'm going to go check over here real quick and see how our flag's doing. What's good up here is you can actually look all the way. See, I can see my flag from here. So just with a little bit of running on this building, you can see both flags. I figured, okay, my wife's running the flag. I'm going to go and assist her and make sure she gets there. And boom, she got there just fine. Oh, I think they all left the game. We beat them so hard that they all left the game. But you can see I, I went 21-1. and one. If they didn't forfeit the game, I probably got a little bit more kills. But, you know, it's not typical that every game I go, like, only die one time, 21 and 1. That's a really good game. But it, has, it happens quite often where I'll get, like, one or two or three deaths and get, like, 20 to 30 kills. All right, let's look at some more gameplay, though. One of them is. All right, let's look at one more gameplay here. I thought there was thousands of people playing this game. Where are they all at? Yeah, the last couple of days, you would think with coronavirus, more people would be playing, but on the last few days, it's been like hard to get full matches. So I, I decided to spray paint my wife, and then I decided to spray paint this guy too, because it's funny. <laughs> no, he's like super Yo. visible. So I'm going to go ahead and put a mine on the, on the flag, as I usually do. Check right here uh, if you're coming this way, because people always go this way usually, right there in the middle. Another thing about getting good at the game is just, just knowing the maps, like where people you know, tend to be at where, where they come from. I should have tried to check to my right right there again and, and like there too, but I, I kind of looked at the map and I saw that that was dumb of me. I shouldn't have run around like that. I saw and heard that they were, you know, not on that side. Right here is a good place to, to head glitch on this box right here. That's why I get closer so I can head glitch. I mean, I had just spawned, so I needed to kill that guy first. And I throw a mine there just in case someone runs that way. But this is a good head glitch. Look, I'm basically head glitching right here. You know, it's a really good, really good spot to be. This we want to try to find, find places on the map where you can basically know where people are coming from. Like that guy probably would have killed me had I not been head glitching right here. I'm gonna shoot my rocket in there. I had a feeling there was a guy in there, so that's why I shot my rocket. I could have switched back to my M4 right there, but I just decided to rocket him. I wanted both of these kills, but this guy starts running, so I just I just chase after him. See, there's two guys oh, there. there. Two people shooting me. Nothing I can really do there. Because there's two guys. You gotta, you gotta know the map too. Like, when I was chasing that guy with the missile, if I had chased him too much, I would have landed on top of that crate and when I, when I, it would not have hurt him. So you gotta make sure that, you know, you kind of know the map. So if you're gonna use that, you know how to use it. I'm off to a little bit of a rough start here. It's kind of back and forth. I kill some people, I die. But, you know, I stick with it. Sometimes you stick with it. There's times where I'll be negative and I'll come back and, and become super positive. So, you know, like I started off and it was like 0 5. I'm down 5 and like, well, I'm doing horrible. But I just stick with it and then I end up coming back. So that was, um, I, I, didn't, I didn't hear that guy. I think he went, I don't know if he had dead silence on, but I just didn't hear him for some reason. Maybe it was just too loud or whatever it was. I didn't hear him. 
This is not the best spot to be. They actually have a better advantage here. But, you know, I saw the guy there, so I was going to try to shoot him. This isn't the best either. You want to try to get to this box over here if you can. This is a much better place to take on fights. But I still, I threw that, because I was throwing that mine, he had the advantage there. Because uh, I was caught in the frames of getting my gun back. So he had already shot me a couple times. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to go on top. It's usually always a good bet to go on top in this map. If you can get on top, you can usually get a lot of good kills. And you're helping your team out because you're killing the guys that are trying to get the flag. And you're, help, you're helping control the map, you know? The more people you're killing, the more you're controlling the map. I lost him behind the pipes there. And then I get killed again. But I had my I had my spawn stick, so I'm right back up again. I love the spawn stick because you can really um, surprise people with some interesting plays. Like they can kill you, and then you just spawn right back behind them. So right now I'm, I am positive 10-6, but it's not the best game right now. I probably should cut that part of the audio out, huh? That dude burping. All right, let's see if we can turn this around here a little bit. Now we're on this side. So I'm going to check right here again because they people usually always come this way. They didn't come this way, though. So I decide I'm going to go through this way. I'm watching right here because they're going to be jumping over that wall. I decided to wait a second before I take the, take the ladder because I thought I heard people. There's one guy there. I think I'm going to throw that there just in case I kill this guy. And now I'm going to go up. I got my mind there now to take care of anyone else running that way. I look at my compass as I'm running up and I can see like where people are and also at the uh, map itself on the left there. The GPS map. This is a good spot to be on this map. Um, stay back in this little corner right here and, and then try to look at your map to, to know where people are, are at so you know what side they're spawning on so you can kind of peek out and shoot them. You want to try to stay hidden in that little left corner up there. I did that because I should have my kill streak thing on, so that you know that gives me an, another kill for my kill streak. So I can see on my map where, the, and I kind of just pay attention. See on my map, I can see where all the blue arrows are, so I know that because all the blue arrows are on the right side of the map, they should be spawning on the left side of the map somewhere. So that's why I'm looking over here. You can see they're spawning there. Got my tank. I'm trying to get my VTOL. I just need one more kill to get the VTOL. And there's the VTOL. That was just bad tracking. I should have tracked him faster. Got the VTOL out. That will that will help bring my kill death ratio up. And honestly, using the kill streak perk. Oh, I'm almost out of bullets. Oh, oh. Or whatever it's called. At this point, I'm like, okay, I'm out of bullets. I'm gonna come down and use my tank. I forgot you can't fall that far. Yeah, I thought I could drop right there. <laughs> I have my spawn stick. Can I'm I like, you know what? I, right I never tried this before. Oh and my you god, can. you can. So you can spawn your tank at the top, and then you can just drive down. Oh, well, you can, you know, try to drive down. No, get up, tank. I just say, for hell, to hell with that guy, I don't want to try to chase him, I want to get all these guys. I got him anyway. I know all these guys are spawning over here, so that's why I want to get rid of them all. You tend to spawn in corners in this map, similar to uh, Shipment. Really bad tracking on my part there. Twenty nine and seven. But in the end, I go, I go. What is that? Twenty nine and seven in the end. So, if I hadn't got that VTOL and stuff, I would not have gone that far. Now, honestly, my perk, the kill streak perk, whatever it's called, didn't really help me much there because I only got one kill with Trash. that with the missile. Twenty nine and seven. Oh, Eleven and twenty two. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, do me a favor, smash the like button, it only takes you a second. Seriously, like I always forget to do that when I like, when I like videos. And I, and I hear someone saying, hey, smash the like button, it just kind of goes to one or the other. So please, just take the time to hit that button if you enjoyed this at all. I appreciate it. And um, if you want to see videos like this where I can go through um, every, every level, like this for example, is just showing some gameplay for shipment, which is very hectic, but there is a way you can still go positive. I actually go positive in this game. So anyway, if you want to see um, more like this for each level, where I can break down each level and how I play it and you know how to use this knowledge from going from cover to cover and how to take advantage of different parts of the map, then let me know and I can make those. All right, cool, thanks.